Sunday, routes 11 and 15 near Marysville will be closing for three months. Crews taking steps to prevent falling rocks. So you can see on our traffic maps two different ways to get around the work. Both detours and increased traffic congestion. The yellow and the blue are those detour routes. So how will EMS crews respond to calls? Carissa Schatzer is getting answers in Cumberland County. Carissa. Valley East Penn Ambulance Service is the primary medical response to Marysville and part of Rye Township. They are a bit worried about this closure, but they say they have a plan. When there's an emergency in the Marysville area, East Pennsboro Ambulance Service is the first on scene. But when 11 and 15 closes for three months, they'll have to go another way. We're actually on Route 11 now. So we'll be turning left here onto uh, Valley Road. EMT Michael Fisher took us on the emergency detour. There's a lot more difficulty because there's not that much area for people to pull over for us. So obviously we're not going to be able to do high speeds on that road. Which means longer response times. Probably with this road closure, we're anticipating an additional 10 to 15 minute response. Those minutes matter during an emergency. The more emergent patients, they, they need the help faster and, and quicker than, uh, than what possibly we won't be able to provide. They'll get help from fire crews. They're going to be automatically dispatched through Perry County Communications uh, simultaneously with our ambulance service to make sure that they can stabilize the patient and get the patient ready for transport. Paramedics say they understand the need to close 11 and 15. They've responded to numerous crashes there caused by falling rocks. There, there definitely is a need, and uh, I support the need definitely. Um, it's just a minor inconvenience, and uh, hopefully the public understands that we're doing our best to, uh, to provide that service to them. An ambulance will be posted closer to Marysville to help shorten response times. Working for you live in Cumberland County, Carissa Schatzer, ABC 27 News.